All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got something really nice here with me in the house. For a quick review, we're gonna have a Chris Reeve Knives Small Sebenza 21 Lather Damascus unique graphic with the Amethyst Cabochon right over here for a quick review. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content right over here. So what do we have here? This is a pretty, pretty cool one, guys. Uh, it's a small Sebenza. It's a special edition because I never seen uh, anything quite like this. It's just gorgeous. I mean, overall length of this guy is going to be 6.9 inches with a uh, handle of uh, length of, uh, I would say, 4 inches and um, a uh, 2.95, almost 3 inch long uh, blade. Uh, this guy is, um, it's a really, really nice one, guys. It's um, a Chris Reeve Knives a Small Sebenza 21. Um, it has a very, very cool um, titanium handle. This is the titanium frame lock you can see the satin finish you can see the this is probably the finest milling that you can find on a scale i mean look at that that's mesmerizing the the effect that the light uh, creates when it reflects on the little surface is just gorgeous amethyst uh, this is a cabochon going on over here you can see it uh, yeah, protruding a little bit on the inside as well. Fantastic job they've done. Uh, you can see maybe like that through a little bit. How cool is that? Very nice. Um, but I mean, this is like, uh, it resembles like a feather kind of thing. It's so finely milled that it's uh, ridiculous. It's uh, it's nuts. Um, and it's satin, of course, on this side. On this side is just uh, sandblasted. Uh, here you've got your Chad Nichols ladder, Damascus, uh, uh, stainless steel, drop point blade, hollow grind, silver thumb stud, fantastic jimping, classic um, uh, crystal Reeve the crowning that is just gorgeous and of course you've got your belly your straight edge nice uh, sharpening choil I mean this is the Sebenza I'm not gonna do a full review on this guy because uh, you can also check my full length review for other Sebenzas I've uh, uh, reviewed but this is just a unique uh, graphic one it's uh, it's just gorgeous guys this is uh, I mean this is a special one. This is a truly, truly nice one. Blade, of course, absolutely centered. Uh, there's nothing uh, like rattling. This is well put together. Let's just quickly check uh, the weight uh, on this guy. There is a lanyard hole attached, but yeah, it's not going to be impacting the weight that much. Uh, look at that. 2.92 uh, ounces. Uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic, guys. It is really, really good indeed. Of course, like the sound is the classic uh, uh, Sebenza sound. Like it's just so good when you close it, almost imperceptible. Like uh, when you open it nicely, beautiful clack, guys. This is the, this uh, the Sebenza was the first knife that um, basically like some years ago uh, let me step into the mid tech uh, field for knives and. Uh, yeah, it's something that you start uh, seeing the differences between uh, the rest of the, let's say, the cheaper knives, uh, and you can start to see where the tolerance is, the sound, the feel, and the classic lines. I mean, the, the look, it's it's just a classic. This is an evergreen one, for sure. So this was, uh, it's meaningful for me, because the Sebenza was the one that basically let me... Uh, pursue this let's say madness of uh, uh, mid-tech high-end knives that I'm into right now so I really really appreciate this one so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned